In this video, we will learn how to search for images within Power Apps. This video is a part of a series of videos that I'll be launching that covers different APIs of both the Azure Cognitive Services and the Google APIs and how I'm implementing that in Power Apps. Let's have a quick demo of the image search tool. So I can put my search term over here. I'm going to dedicate this video to Tom and Jerry because that's one of my favorite cartoons. So let's search for some images for that. So you can see there are a bunch of images that were returned. Um, we can select some different parameters over here. So I'm going to look for some animated GIFs. If I'm pronouncing that right, GIF or GIFs which is okay uh, so you can see it returned some animated gifs um, some of the funny ones so and you can select the different things over here i'm not sure um, if we'll see some results but let's see modify commercially and image type on All right, so these are the images that you can actually use in your apps. Um, the license is something that you can use it in the apps without kind of violating any copyrights. Um, so let's have a look at how this tool works. Just an overview of what we are doing. Basically, we are taking some query parameters in Power Apps, the search term, the, the license type, the image type, all that. And we are sending it to a flow. The flow basically has an HTTP request of the Bing Image Search API. Um, so we pass all these query parameters and it returns some results. We then return that data back to Power Apps with the flow and then uh, once we have that in power apps we just display them in power apps uh, i've included some links over here so that you can look at the documentation and also the uh, just use the tool that bing has uh, on their website so that gives you a better idea of the different kind of filters that you can build So let's have a look at the flow. So the flow basically, it's the Power Apps. Um, that's how we started. We then have an HTTP request um, where we are passing some query parameters that we got from Power Apps, like the search terms and the different uh, filters. We have specified the key which I'll be regenerating after this video. And uh, the next step that you take is you use the request response and uh, use the, um, the result that, that you got from here and send it back to Power Apps. Now, if you are not uh, kind of familiar with the way of doing this, um, I'll put a link to a video where um, one of my videos where I have shown this in detail and you can have a look at that. Some of the other uh, Power Apps users have also made some videos on that including a video on Microsoft Flow about it. So that's another place where you can look into the details of how to send um, data back into Power Apps using this request response method. Once you have uh, done that, um, you get the results back in Power Apps and then you can display it whichever way you want to. And now a bit more detail on how we are doing it in Power Apps. So this is my search kind of input text and what I've done for the on select action for the search button is I am 
collecting um, all the data that I'm getting back from the flow or basically the Bing image search API. I'm collecting that data into this Bing image library collection. So this is my flow, Bing image search that I'm running and I'm passing all these uh, different parameters including the input text and the filter values. And once I get the data back from flow, it gets saved into this Bing image library. Let's have a look at the Bing image library. So the Bing image library has all the data that we got. So it includes a bunch of stuff, the content URL, the, the encoding format, the height of the image, the host page URL, image ID. Um, there's a lot of things over here that you can use. What I have used is just the name of the image and the URL, the content URL. Um, so this is basically a gallery where I am showing, let's have a look. So the image is the this item the content URL and the title is uh, the name. What I, I have implemented over here is I can add it to a library, which is again a local collection in this case. Um, let's, let me show you that here. So if I click on add to library, it gets added in my image library and it shows that it's already added. And you can see over here that it added it in the image library. Um, let me add a few more just to show you how it does that. Um, so you can see it keeps adding in the library. Now in my case, I have added it to a local collection, but what you could do is you can add it to a SharePoint list um, and basically have that list as a, a media repository, if you want to say it, uh, for all your apps. This way you don't have to save images in the media library over here. So there's nothing in here but everything is getting collected in a collection. And if you want, you can do that in a SharePoint list so that you can have the name of the image and the URL of the image. Now you need to have internet while using these apps, but in some cases, and I would, I would say in most of the cases, your user will have internet. But if, if you have like um, off-site people or on the go kind of apps where might want to have some local storage you might want to think something different but in case where you're um, having good internet access I would say it would be nice to store all the images and the URLs in one repository so that you can refer it back whenever you want to now so what more can I do in this as I told you you can save the files to SharePoint and keep it as a media library for all your apps. Um, also, you can ask for the file name before you add it to the library. So in this case, I just used the name that was there when I got it from the Bing image search API, but you can ask the user to input some name and then save it to the library. That way the user can then refer to it um, easily when um, he's using it again in the app. So just to show you a demo over here, I did uh, add these images from the image search tool that I created. And what I'm doing is I'm just looking up the image library where flow is in the name and then I'm using the URL. So these are not images saved in the media library, but it's something it's just a URL, so it's taking it from the internet. Um, so it, it can be used in a lot of different use cases. I would say you, you might want to save time going back and forth in Google search and uh, searching, let me back up, Google search or Bing search and 
search for images over there, save it in your local library and then put it in media folder. You probably want to save all those steps uh, by implementing this tool. Now, because there is a copy paste option available, I would say you can easily just copy this whole thing and just paste it in each of your apps. Um, that way you, you just keep one image search screen where you just search for images and add it to a SharePoint list or whichever repository that you want to use. Um, now, let me give you a quick demo of what you can see in the next videos. Some exciting stuff. Uh, so this one is the place search uh, API that I'm using of Google. So let's search for restaurants in New York. What it does is it send, turns different list of results um, with their name, the address, the rating, and the first image um, that the, uh, the API gets. So this way you can build uh, image, can, uh, sorry, the place search into your app and I'll talk in detail in the next video. Another demo that I would like to show you is of this. So this is a text to speech API that I'm using. So I already entered the, the text over here. Uh, just so that I can show it again, I'll convert it to audio again. And we can see over here Tom and Jerry is my favorite cartoon. All right, so as you saw, you you can convert it to audio. You can select the language. Right now, this one is the UK version, so it's a bit of British accent. Um, but yeah, you can use any of the languages, um, most of the languages, I would say, and build it to have better accessibility in your apps. Um, We'll talk in detail about that in the next series of videos. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please uh, like it on, down below. Um, share it with uh, whoever you want to. And um, if you have any suggestions, any feedback, any thoughts, please don't forget to add your comments. Thank you again and uh, happy power apping.